Hi guys, back with another video. I'm going to do another cooking video here. Uh, I'm actually copying this idea from one of the channels I subscribe to, Hunting with Hathaway. Uh, a couple weeks ago he put up a video, his wife showed how they make armadillo eggs. Now I've never heard of them before, but I'll tell you what, they looked really, really good. So Hathaway, I'm copying your video there, buddy. Uh, Hathaway got a good channel down there. I'm going to put a link in the description. He's from down south, does a lot of hunting, does some cooking videos, really good channel. So if you guys want to check out his channel, check out that link below. So what do we need for these armadillo eggs? Well, let's go over the ingredients. First thing you're going to need, I'm using deer meat. I imagine you could probably use hamburger. I'm just going to use about a pound of deer meat. And you're going to want about an equal amount of sausage. What I got here, I got some wild boar sausage. My buddy Brandon went on a wild boar hunt. He got, gave me a package of sausage. So we're going to be using this. We got some bacon. We're going to be using that as a wrap. We got some jalapeno peppers, some cream cheese, some spices. You can vary these spices, you know, to your taste, what you like. Got a package of uh, Kobe Monterey Jack cheese. It's a mixture. Package of bacon bits. So the first thing we want to do is we want to mix a bunch of these ingredients except these two. So let's get things mixed up here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to, well, the bacon we're not going to use. We're going to mix the two meats together. Mix in the cheese, mix in the baking bits, and spice it up a little bit. So let's get started on that. Alright, so we got our meat in the bowl. I'm going to start mixing uh, some different things in there. I'm going to put the cheese in. Now, I imagine you could use other kinds of cheese. This is a Colby Monterey Jack blend. I'm going to put our bacon bits in. And we're just going to throw some spice in. I'm just going to eyeball it. Uh, garlic powder. I, I always use garlic powder in a lot of stuff. Some black pepper. And we're going to use some onion powder. Now you're going to have your sausage in there, so you're actually going to have the spice from that some onion powder. Try to put enough in there to give it the flavor. Now we're going to get messy. We're going to mix all this stuff up. Never tried these before, but I'll tell you what, after watching his video, they really, really look good. Notice my shirt. Got another one of my shirts it's from my online store. If you guys are interested, go check it out. Now, I have to tell you that site is very difficult to navigate to see everything. I'm, I'm not sure why it's laid out like that, but I'll put a link below if that's something you might be interested in. A lot of different shirts, a lot of different uh, household items, clocks, you know, pillows, stuff like that phone cases. All right here, we got our green peppers. Got a bowl to throw the seeds and stuff in. And cut off the stem. And the way his wife showed it, they just kind of split them down one side. I've never actually cleaned a jalapeno pepper before. I guess it's pretty much like a green pepper. And I guess you Split it about halfway and then get the seeds out. Try to keep it all together. Not sure how well that's going to work. So let me get these seeds out of these peppers. And we'll be back for the rest of it. So the next step is to fill these bad boys with some cream cheese. So we got that block of cream cheese here. Try to spread them open a little bit. Put some of this cream cheese inside them. Next step, what we want to do is we want to basically make a hamburger patty. 
some of this meat. Make it in a hamburger form. I'm going to make two of them. And supposedly, according to the video, as you wrap the meat around the jalapeno pepper. So I'm not sure how easy that's going to go. But we're going to try here. Nothing goes bad as I thought. And if you look at it, it does have a little bit of an egg shape to it. <laughs> There's one. So let me get the rest of these finished up and we'll do the next step. Alright, so we got I got five peppers and it seemed like I had just about the right amount of meat. Some of these may be a little bit thicker in the meat department than others, but we used all all five peppers and we used up the ground meat. Now we're gonna wrap them in bacon. So let's get started on that. So basically, I think you kind of get the gist of this. We're just going to wrap bacon around this. This will help keep it from getting dried out. So I'm going to get all these wrapped up and then we'll put them in the smoker. Alright, we're finishing up the last egg here. It takes about two strips of bacon to wrap it. I mean the ends are open but actually in Hathaway's video this is a little bit bigger one, I might use three. In Hathaway's video his wife, some of them she didn't wrap and some of them she did. So I'm not sure how important it is to wrap you know each one but if you like bacon you might want to wrap them. So we got five of them wrapped. Now it's time to put them in the smoker. Now in Hathaway's video his wife put them in the oven and I believe she said it was 350 degrees for a half hour. So I'm going to get that smoker cranked up, you know, with a lot more heat than I normally use. And uh, we'll leave them in there. I'll have to keep checking them and make sure they look like they're done. So that'll be the next step. All right, so things are looking pretty good with the smoker. We're going to put these babies in. smoker up to was about 250. They've probably been in there for about an hour and a half and it's actually taken a while to get the smoker that hot. So we're waiting for an internal temperature of 160 degrees and as you can see they're at 158 right now. So we're just going to give them a few more minutes and we'll pull them out. Alright so it's time to pull these things out and I'll tell you what I'm really anxious to give them a try. Bro. You're looking awfully good. All right. Here's what they look like. I'm going to take them in, give them a try. All right, so we got them out of the smoker. I let them cool a little bit. I see one here broke open. We're going to go ahead and cut one of these things open and see how they taste. Tell me what, they smell delicious. I just hope they taste as good. Looking pretty good, let me tell you. Alright. Try to get 
get a little bit of the pepper. Kind of fell apart here. Got some pepper, some bacon, and some meat. Let's taste it. Armadillo eggs. I'm telling you what, these things are awesome. I want to thank Hank Hunting with Hadaway. Big thank you to him for posting this video up. Otherwise, I'd have never known about them. I will be making more of these in the future. I can tell you that for sure. Delicious, guys. All right. That's it for my video on how to make armadillo eggs. I hope you like it, and I hope you give these things a try. Very good. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.